guys need coins, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They got the cheapest coins on the internet right now. Make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off. And guys, these prices are pretty crazy. You can get a million coins for pretty, pretty cheap. So make sure to check them out and use code Poodle. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some brand new golden tickets. We got three of them in packs. As you guys do know, we're still waiting on those mutt rewards. I don't believe they're coming today. I still think they're probably coming Friday. Now, could they just pop up? It's possible. But, have to hear what they say, of course. But guys, we do have golden tickets. We got three of them. Now, this should be our second to last week of golden tickets because we still have the developer golden tickets. Now, if you guys don't already know, if you want to be getting these golden tickets for free, I told you guys, you guys should already know, go over to challenges. Make sure you're playing your fan appreciation solos. They do not expire, I don't believe, which is why I haven't started them yet. I'm just kind of waiting for one shot. I'm just going to knock them out at one time. But, right here, as you guys know, week two should be dropping any second now as soon as the golden tickets drop in game. And then once week two is in, go play those. And then week three should be next week, I believe, the 29th is way up yeah so every friday until the point now so next friday will be the final ones now is it possible that these do drop friday it is possible because obviously the other ones did drop on the friday but could they drop them golden tickets i'm not entirely sure it really just depends but make sure despite all that make sure you're playing it and play it in these dumb because a free golden ticket's pretty awesome now i don't think like i said i don't think they're time so don't worry too much about them you can get them done on your own time and who are you guys going to take? I did drop a video over ranking them. I think, I mean, I'm personally leaning towards Lamar Jackson, but it really just depends on the price of Vic and is, is it worth the quarterback? I mean, I think a quarterback that can do everything as a golden ticket is always going to be worth the money, but we really have to see. Obviously, there's some other variables in there. But guys, before we get into today's video and check out the golden tickets, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, well, boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think of these golden tickets and let me know what you rank today's golden tickets out of the other ones like are these better are these worse let me know down below but guys it's about it let's head into the rest of the video let's check out the golden tickets hopefully the stats are great on them they always are but we have to see obviously it's cam newton see one of the better quarterbacks it really just depends but guys let's check it out right, guys real quick before we get into the golden tickets i do want to show you the moat rewards for may so these are the confirmed moat rewards coming out tomorrow so should be around 4 p.m. they said unless there's a delay. So if you're a rookie level Mutt Reward tier, you guys should already know what tier you are. You get one fan appreciation pack, the original ones, which are the ones on the store right now. You're a pro, you get two original fan appreciation packs. If you're all pro, you get a one new fan appreciation pack and one original. Now we do not know what the new ones are. I gotta assume the new ones have better odds. Like instead of 95 pluses, they have 97 pluses. Like like you know, like 95 plus 14 percent, it'll be 97 plus like 20 percent. Like maybe way better odds. Or maybe instead of offering five cards, they offer 10 and they're all 85 aboves. Like, it really just depends. I don't know how they're going to go yet, but these should be really cool. The first ones are decent enough and give you a pretty good shot. So then if you're legendary, you get two. So I believe I am legendary, so we'll be getting two fan appreciation packs that are the new ones. So pretty cool. It should be coming out around 4, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to check out Madden or EA Madden Direct. Make sure everything's on time. And then, guys, just showing you real quick the Madden Bowl, the Gale Sayers, the Frank Clark, and the John Ross. And from what they said, they can be powered up, which is actually pretty cool. So make sure you check those guys out. But now let's head over back to the Madden screen. Check out all the golden tickets. Okay, so we're back on the auction block here. We do have, I believe, the Jalen Ramsey up. As you guys know, today's golden tickets are Jalen Ramsey, Cam Newton, and Keith Bullock, which is pretty awesome. Not going to lie. All three of those cards are not bad at all. So we got Keith Bullock and Ramsey. Start with, start Keith Bullock. Start light. So Keith Bullock, 99 overall. He's got pass coverage times three, and then speed rusher as his four archetypes. 6 foot 3, 92 speed, 93 excel, 80 strength, 97 tackle, 98 play rec, 98 block shed, 61 power move, and 74 finesse move. Now, like it Krayl said in the stream, people on face value are going to call this card disgusting because he's not the fastest and he has bad uh, pass rushing. But remember, if you use him properly in a zone scheme, in like a 3-4 where one of your linebackers are in a zone, he could be really good. Now, here's, here's the key. Is his zone good? He's tall and he's decently fast with Sprinter, Powered Up, and John Madden. He's going to end up with like a 96 speed. So that's great at linebacker. Now let's just see. It all comes down to his zone coverage. His zone coverage is a 90. His man coverage is a 90. Guys, if you are able to get this guy up, if you put lockdown on him and get him up to like a 95 man, plus, okay, if you get John Madden lockdown on this guy, you get um, lockdown regular and you get powered up, you can get his man coverage up to like a 96, 97 at linebacker. You're gonna be able to man people up on like okay guys this card could be a, this card could be this card can get glitch i'm telling you guys do not sleep on this card this card's awesome this card is awesome i, I would i would probably run him at left outside linebacker since i typically rush lawrence taylor that's the only issue it's just the position they're at but if he, if he has a secondary outside linebacker 
Guys, this card could get glitchy with that speed, that excel, and that, and he could stop the run, which is the best part. My issue is that they have zone and no block shed, but they have block shed, he has zone, he could tackle, play wreck, and I don't want him to pass rush. Like, this fits a lot of schemes. You just have to look at him the right way. But guys, not a bad card at all. I actually am a big fan of that Keith Bullock, and I'd honestly pick that Keith Bullock up if it wasn't for all the other good choices there are for my free ones. But that Keith Bullock is nasty. If you use probably, like, if you're a 4-4 if you're a guy, or you always rush two linebackers, or you're a pinch buck kind of guy, Maybe it's not the move for you because you need someone who could pass rush. But if you're a guy that runs like a typical 3-4 where core cover two where one of them sits in the zone and the other one pass rushes, that's just perfect for you guys. And you can and the, better, the best part is if you're like a pretty advanced defensive guy, you can man him up on people. Like let's say you know that they're killing you with the tight end, you just man bullock up on the tight end. They're gonna think it's a zone, they're gonna quick read him, and he's gonna be man pick, picked off. And he's gonna stay with him because he's fast and has man. I'm telling you guys, could be awesome, especially to lock down tight ends, which I like to do. Next we got Jalen Ramsey, 97 speed, 97 excel. 95 agility, 99 jumping, 98 man, 99, I'm sorry, 98 play rack, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. This card is looking phenomenal, guys. Crazy good card. Six foot one, two uh, two slot archetypes, one man to man, and one zone. Card looks absolutely amazing. Compare him to Night Train Lane, as who I always say is like a, a pretty comparable comparison. Faster, better excel, just about the same agility, better jumping, better play rec, way better man, better zone, way better press. Going to be the ultimate physical zone lockdown corner. And not to mention they're both 6'1". He has 82 catch, which is pretty close. 83 tackle, which is actually better than him. And now where I'm really concerned about is going to be his hip power, which usually is good. And his block is not horrible. His hip power is usually really good as well. 84 hip power. Okay, so he's not as good as Nitro in the hip power department, but he blows him away everywhere else. Guys, if you have Nitro Lane and Jalen Ramsey and Dion in the slot, that is even better than that champ combo I've been talking about. I'm telling you, Nitro Lane, number one. Jalen Ramsey as your number two. And then go on ahead and have Nadeon in your in your slot. And I'm telling you guys, you guys are sitting pretty. Like you, you're looking, you're looking pretty good in my opinion. If you can do all that, not bad at all. Super, super good to be quite honest with you guys. I really like the Jalen Ramsey card. Of course, though, he. We I mean we knew he was gonna be good. Next we have that Cam Newton card as well. Now compared to Jalen Ramsey, I mean sorry, Deion Sanders. Deion's a little bit more athletic, but it doesn't really matter because when you power up and come up Ramsey, he's gonna he's gonna pretty much meet him everywhere and then just kill him and press end zone as well and even yeah and play rack a little bit and he's taller and he's more physical and he can tackle like there's so many benefits to having this jalen ramsey card i really do love this card it's just it's hard to justify when you take your free golden ticket like, it's hard to justify taking a guy who's a depth position over a guy a quarterback who's the man on your team all all the time next we got cam newton he's got two field general improviser and scrambler now i'm pretty sure xerxes helped make this guy so uh, go over there and if you hate him you know talk crap in his comments if you like him Say good things. I think I was I was actually at his house while he was in the process of creating this, which was pretty cool. So I was like sort of there, you know, not really. Yeah, no, not really. But it was pretty cool. Six foot five. Let's see what he's got compared to him. So he's got 90 speed, 97 throw power, 98 uh, throw short, 99 throw medium, 98 throw deep, 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, and 99 play action. Now, guys, which I find really crazy, they gave Cam Newton the best passing stats out of all the other golden tickets. I think hands down, like hemmed up everything, he's gonna be like the one pass that gets everything 99, or at least tied with someone else. But he has, he's either the best or tied for the best. The only issue is they gave him less speed, which is weird. You'd think that they give uh, Josh Allen maybe better passing than Cam Newton, less speed, but he actually has better speed, less less passing. You'd think that Lamar Jackson might be able to pass better than Cam, because Cam just historically isn't that great of a passer. I thought what they do is they give him a little worse passing, a little bit better speed, and better better other stuff. Now. Passing wise, guys, he's, he's Patrick Mahomes. Like again, he's like Josh Allen, kind of. He's like just a better Patrick Mahomes. You're gonna be, a, he's gonna get a better passer. And I mean, the one beauty about Cam now, out of all the quarterbacks, I probably still end up going with Lamar Vic because they get 99 speed and human joystick. But what you get with Cam that you don't get with others is that strength, that 86 strength. You get the phenomenal throwing, and you're gonna get jumping and trucking, 92 trucking. You're gonna get a stiff arm. But the issue is, I get very terrified running with quarterbacks to begin with. So I don't know if I'm gonna get all that ballsy with power runs and stuff like that. So. If you're that kind of guy, Cam Newton could be really fun. I'd probably still just do Lamar because I think he'll just do that and better. And either way, they both have probably similar ratios of fumbling. So I don't really have to worry about one or the other per se. But guys, that's about it for the video. That's pretty much all three golden tickets. Let's do my quick rankings. Uh, first, out of all three of them, Jalen Ramsey, by far. By far. Then I got to go Cam Newton. Then I got to put Keith Bullock. Now, give me my, I'll give you my explanation. Now, Keith Bullock is a monster, but he's a situational monster. If you're blitzing, not great. If you're sending pinch buck, not great. If you're in a pinch buck cover three, if you're in a zone blitz, not great. 
If he happens to be in a zone that play, great. Like, you have to use a situational guy. I don't think I'm spending 3 million coins-ish on a situational guy. So, he's going to come into last. Second place, Cam Newton. Amazing quarterback. I mean, just the best passer of all of them. So, he's got to be up there. But, if I had to choose, still not my top quarterback. So, false two. And then, Jalen Ramsey is a monster. And, guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on about boys. Come join the family. And, remember, we got a new sponsor. So, go check them out, guys. No joke. Cheapest coins on the internet. You're going to get a million coins for like $33, like super, super cheap. And the new school poodle at 5% off. Show some love, guys. Let them know I sent you. Good luck. Enjoy. I'm out. Peace.